Supercell has launched now uh, many games. Two of them are like Life Heyday and Clash of Clans. And they are both really big hits. And of course, being the next game launched by Supercell, it's, there's a huge amount of pressure on us. Boom Beat is a combat strategy game uh, on mobile uh, with both PvP and PvE elements blended in a pretty unique map system that we have. When starting to do a game, I think like the most important thing is first to try to get the vision together, what kind of game you are making. Once you nail it down or you think you nail it down, then you start actually building it. So it's all about then problem solving. We started with a completely different story. Everything was steam powered and it was a pure player versus player experience. But then we decided to uh, try and appeal to a broader audience. And at some point we just got together like, hey guys, this doesn't work. And we just like locked the doors and, and talked about it and talked about it and talked about it and, and uh, decided that it was we had to change it. All that went out the window at one point and uh, we decided to start again with a different kind of story. Give the player a clear motivation, make, give it this good versus evil setting. The Black Guard is an organization who wants to discover these ancient relics and harness their power and, well, basically world conquest follows. The game is about conflict, the game is about saving something and of course then it's really important that, that the world is something you, you truly want to save. That's why we, we try to make it as alive as possible. Our style is um, kind of like a Pixar movie, but uh, then somebody sat on it and it's kind of like a little bit broken, a little bit twisted. You know, we didn't want to go too clean. We want everything to have a little bit of a kind of broken edge and feeling more organic. We looked for references into uh, World War One and World War II, uh, guns and turrets and cannons. It was really challenging to put them kind of like into this cartoony style. It's very much, you know, take an old 3D render, drawn top Google for reference images, and then kind of like bounce it back and forth until something ends up in the game, and then you notice it's all horribly wrong, and then you start again. While making the Boom Beach, we tried to push the boundaries, because there is this trend that mobile games are not real games, and we sure think of it as a real game, and we try to push the platform to its maximum. It's been always problematic to make a multiplayer game with a map. So we tried to crack that and do it a bit different. It's kind of a combination of this abstract matchmaking and static map where you can really explore the world. I was most excited about to make the combat unique and interesting, at the same time very approachable and easy to understand at the start. In order to make the user interface good, you have to make sure that it works also on the small screen. It should be that it's so fluid that you don't have to think about it. It should be something that you can take and play for a short burst and it should still be meaningful. There's a very, very little hierarchy and it's pretty much a creative chaos how we work. Smart people from different fields of expertise and different cultures and different uh, backgrounds and them coming together and usually arguing about the stuff that they think that will be the best for the game. We are all really honest about each other, like if we, if we think something works or doesn't work, we, we, we try to say it aloud and we are quite good taking that kind of critic. Best feedback is to look at videos that players produce. You see it in a very different light the game. If you're not stressed about the about the choices you're making, then you're not really doing a good job. You should be a little bit on the edge of your seat. Once it goes live, I'm sure that we we have a plenty of surprises in it waiting for us. And I also expect them to be able to break uh, the game in ways that we haven't even imagined yet. I think this new new type of Free-to-play games, they are never ready, so they are ongoing projects and you always try to improve them as much as you can. Of course, at some point you decide that it's ready enough for a launch, but after that even, we try to improve it and make it even better. The launch is just actually the beginning.